and welcome to this episode of Tech in Style. Now today me and Spode would like to talk to you about the new innovative idea by Asus, the Tai Chi. Certainly, when you when you typically first look at it, it just looks like, um, like, like an Ultrabook, like a Zenbook Prime. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got your nice 1080p screen and you can hammer away. But then on the other side, it's actually got a secondary screen, um, like a dual screen technology. Um, that you can use in various different ways. Yeah, and you can either use it like a, you know, like a, an ordinary ultrabook, close it like a tablet, or have both screens displaying the same thing at the same time. What I really like is you can switch in between these really, really quickly. Mm. There's just a hotkey on there, so whenever you know fancy displaying whatever you're watching on your laptop to your friends, you can sort of like do that really, really quickly. Or um, you know, if you just like, oh no, I actually want to close it, I just want to use it like a tablet, just like that. The application I see it for. I mean, I'm sure it's got lots of different applications, but the application that absolutely cries out to me um, is, is using it in business meetings. Mm, I mean, definitely. the amount of time that's wasted when you walk into a room of setting projectors up and things is, is annoying as hell. Yeah. If I want to show off like a website or something or, or even a video, um, I've got it, the laptop facing me um, rather than me having to twist it round. So if I want to show off the, the website, I, I'm on the website and I just act with it normally. I haven't got a kind of turn it around so you can see this right and then I'm trying to use a touchpad upside down um, while they're trying to get to it it yeah. just it's really cumbersome so the other thing that I found interesting about this concept device was that it was running Windows 8 um, which obviously isn't out yet so mm. it's, it's always interesting to see where it's going with that but the whole interface is designed with kind of touchscreen in mind so having having like a, an ultrabook that you can then put close down and you've got all the touchscreen interface uh, for, for Metro um, that's quite cool yeah. as well. Um, you're kind of getting the best of both there. It's going to be interesting to see. It is a how really, it, it is a really cool device actually. Like mm. I, I can see many purposes for it, and I think we probably don't even know some of the purposes yet. So it's going to be really exciting to see, yeah. you know, how it develops. I guess, like you but, know, but when equally, it... equally, there's probably a lot of people sitting there going, "Why would I need this? When would I use it?" Yeah. But, but I think, I think, as you say, it's one of those things that when people actually start. Of buying these and using these they'll be like, when they're available. How did I never have this before? Then they'll realise <laughs> when it's handy. Asus is definitely paving the way towards something that could become the next branch mm. of, of the, the way we're looking at sort of definitely. portable technology. Yeah. So what would you use this product for? We'd love to know and you can share that information with us on our forum or on the site in the comment box. Indeed you can and you can also subscribe on iTunes and YouTube so you can keep up with our latest episodes. Yes you can. So hopefully we shall see you next time. Bye bye. And of course you some skill of the No.